hi and welcome to this video now first thing first let's do a little bit orientation about what this exam is about and who are the people who can participate in this exam this exam is basically for any dental professional who is allowed to be trained and uh, interested to work as a dental assistant in Canada. Now, if you have undertaken any education or any program outside of Canada and you want to work as a dental assistant in Canada and you think that your education, training and experiences uh, qualify you to become a dental assistant in Canada, this is a way to go. This is the exam that you need to undertake in order to showcase that you are able to perform all the duties or responsibilities that are applicable to a dental assistant in Canada. So starting with that, it is for graduates of non-accredited and out of country applicants. Non-accredited institutions also include the institutions that are in Canada. Now, there are some institutes who are still non-accredited, which means that um, you have to write this clinical practical evaluation once you have completed the program, even in Canada. So if you know anybody who is uh, willing to join or interested to join a dental assisting program, it is a wise thing to double check whether that institute is non-accredited or accredited and if they have to write this clinical practical evaluation exam there are some institutes that are still in the process of accreditation and uh, this is one thing to consider before joining their program as you have to write this exam once you have completed this program but otherwise if you are an internationally trained dentist and you want to earn a decent livelihood and get into this profession before you undertake the exams for becoming a dentist then you still have to write this clinical practical evaluation before you could license yourself or get the permission to practice as a dental assistant in Canada. Now for those people who think that maybe they have applied or went through that immigration process and why not they just write this exam outside Canada and once they have uh, progressed to the stage where they are ready to migrate uh, they can go ahead and find the job right away well in that case this might not work because this exam is not available outside of Canada so if you plan on writing this exam uh, make sure you make arrangements for for a visa or a permit in order to visit Canada to write this exam. Again, rules will, immigration rules are separate. Uh, this course won't go into detail about those. So uh, find out those before you apply to NDAEB as uh, application fees could be non-refundable. So consider that before you apply for this exam. In this exam, nine skills will be tested and in the later videos, I will be going over uh, what those skills are and in detail demonstrations and hands-on demo for each of these skills. But keep that in mind, things could be slightly different as how you have done back in your home country. In Canada, there are some infection control guidelines and protocols that needs to be followed during the completion of these skills, during the performance of these skills. So keep that in mind. All these nine skills will be tested in one day, which means that you have been assigned one day where when your exam will be taken. And in that time period, you have to perform all those nine skills. And uh, let's say if you are not able to pass all the skills then you have to register for those particular skills that you were not able to pass again and at that moment time slot will be shorter it won't be a all day exam so let's say if somebody has to repeat a couple of tasks which means that they will be 
given a particular time slot for few hours when they have to complete those tasks. At the moment of filming this video, it's uh, April 2023. The fee for this exam is around $1,700 plus, $1,750. And if somebody has to retake this exam, it's around three. Uh, retake one task, it's $365 uh, per skill or task. And again, this could change in the coming months or coming years. So I won't address that much on this aspect. If you are ready to find out more about what this evaluation is, again, there is a link there that you can go ahead and uh, go on to that website and find out more about it. Thank you for watching this video.